Hello and welcome. I'm John Talbert, a Big Fix practitioner since 2005 and currently the director of the Big Fix professional services team here at HCL Software. Should you want to reach me later, uh, that QR code there will get you out to the Big Fix forums where you can find me under the username probably 33 Just send me a message. The relevance language is the fuel that fires the Big Fix engines. You can find relevance in fixlets, tasks, analysis, dashboards, reports, and other places throughout the Big Fix platform. One of the areas that you can use to query relevance language are XML files on your computer. XML is specifically structured data used in a wide variety of ways, including configuration, data storage, log files, and others. Today, I'm gonna demo using the XML inspectors to get a specific piece of data out of one of the files on my laptop. The file that I'm interested in is in the Big Fix uh, client folder, and it's actually this SWID tag. These are XML, and they define what software is installed on your computer for other things to consume. Um, and if I pop this open, you'll see, sure enough, there's some XML in there. Um, what I'd like to do is pop up my relevance debugger and start to dig into this XML. Now, the first thing I need to do is get to the folder, which I'll just copy right out of the um, Explorer window there. That gives me the folder. And in that folder, there's a file. And that file is this SWID tag file. Let's just grab that. There, there, I've got the file object. Um, just as a demonstration, lines of the file will show me what's in the file. Lines of, I technically I could parse out of there, but it's a little bit unwieldy and not very surgical. Uh, what I want to do instead here is use XML document of that file, which gives us this little E code. Uh, basically says, I can't show you an entire file uh, on a line. So I'm going to have to show you just this error instead. This is a good error though. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is take a, a look at the first node, node name of, so that's the document itself. Not very interesting. Let's go down one layer of nodes to the child nodes of the XML document. And there's more than one of them, so we need node names. And there's the two nodes, the XML node and the software identity node, which has most of our useful stuff in it. If I go down one more layer, I should see these next layer of nodes, the meta nodes and this entity node. Um, and if I go down one layer further than this, well, these things actually aren't nodes, they're attributes. So I would have to ask for the attributes. And if I spell it correctly, I get a result. Um, so those are the node names of those attributes. They also have node values. And if I want to see them at the same time, I can make a who's clause here. and the values of it. There we go, and there's the node name and the node value all together. Um, but if I'm looking for a specific node, let's say I wanna get this taxonomy code out of here, um, it's a little bit unwieldy to use child nodes. Um, there's a different piece of XML that uh, is allowed to be used, and that's called XPath. I'm gonna take you out to developer.bigfix.com to research this one. We're gonna to go to relevance inspector search and we're gonna type in XPath. There we go. And there's two different ways to pull XPaths. This first one's the interesting one for me because it has this namespace uh, piece to it. Uh, if I didn't have a namespace in my XML, I would be able to use the other more simple mode. But I do have in this XML, there's a namespace right there and an XML NS. So I am going to have to deal with the more complicated uh, version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this XML document that we've already put together for you. Uh, we're going to bring this over. We'll do a single clause view here and we'll evaluate. And we get the same error we started with. And we're going to do node names. There we go, and we're at the document level. Instead of going down to the child nodes, I'm gonna to go to the X path of. And let's just start at the root X path, which gets me back to the document level, you can see here in the output. If this was a simple XML without namespace, I'd be able to just take software identity as my next node down and put it right into that X path. It would give me that node. 
but because I've got the namespace, I have to deal with it. So I'm going to add in, as per the developer, um, a little quote and a comma, and we're going to put the namespace in here. And we're going to have to tweak it a couple of ways. First, I'm going to grab the namespace from the XML document. I'm just going to paste it in raw. I get these red characters indicating there's a problem with my string. And sure enough, these double quotes are breaking my string. So the double quotes around the URL, I'm going to replace them with single quotes. And there's two of them. There's the other one. OK, that fixes one piece. And then the other piece I'll have to inject here is I have to identify what name I want this namespace to have. In this case, I'm just going to use the letter A. So I'm going to do a colon A. That identifies the namespace. Then in the XPath piece, I can use a colon to say, please use the A namespace while we're navigating these nodes. Sure enough, when I evaluate, I get software identity. Now it's an easy method of just adding additional um, slashes and a colon for the namespace, and the next slash down would be meta, M-E-T-A. And that gets me the three meta subnodes of the software identity node. Those are children nodes still, but they're specific children nodes. Notice the entity didn't show up. That node is not part of the meta nodes. Um, the next layer down isn't actually a node, though. This is an attribute, as you remember from the last, uh, the last exercise. So we're going to add in an attribute here. And the code for attribute in XPath is the at symbol. So at meta. Oh, I'm sorry, at uh, taxonomy code. Let's just copy that over here. There we go. And that gets me to this attribute node of this XML. Um, but the name of the node isn't actually what I'm uh, curious about. It's the value. So I'm going to change node names to node values of XPaths. And there I've gotten all the way down, navigated through the namespace, through each of the nodes to a specific attribute, and gotten the value of that attribute out. Uh, this is a very uh, predictable and repeatable type of format that you can use. So there are many different inspectors out there. Um, thanks for watching the example of XML. Um, if you're interested in other inspectors that you can use to get data out of BigFix, uh, developer.bigfix.com has an entire library as well as tutorials on those. And then if you get stuck, you can always come out to forum.bigfix.com and uh, the, content, uh, the content authoring section is the section that you'll want to use for your relevance question types of uh, things to bring back to the community to help solve. And if you're looking for me out there, once again, I'm Brawley33. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.